Welcome to a very interesting conversation. Now, please note, we stand in danger of tribalism. What is tribalism? It is the caveman instincts in your brain to think it's either this or this, but not in between. That's what people tend to do. Well, we're going to have a challenging conversation. And at the end of it, you get to decide ultimately which side you're on. Maybe you find yourself somewhat in between, but this video is meant to challenge and inspire you. Let's put on the glasses because that means I'm getting serious. It also means that I'm almost 40 and I can't hardly see straight without them. But I tend to try to avoid wearing them in glasses just because there's the glare and it seems less personal, I suppose, in some ways. But in real life, I'm pretty much always wearing these. All right, here we go. I made a video called The Cure for Hair Loss, Laser Therapy. Pew, 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 pew. That's actually the name of the video. It was based on someone's comment. When we start looking through the many comments that came through, I see our friend Tobo S. And here's what he said. He said, 216, referring to the men in that video. He said, quote, if shaving your head and embracing baldness demonstrates confidence in one's appearance, where's the need to go to the gym and get ripped? Just as reduced hair growth is stalwart sign of aging, so too is weight gain. So if embracing baldness is masculine, why isn't embracing the beer belly also masculine? Also, gym memberships tend to be expensive. Do you not preach living to serve the needs of others over your own desires? If competing, working out to popping the hair pill, would the latter not grant you more time to focus on the needs of others since doing so takes no more than five seconds and 30 cents a day, as opposed to a costly gym membership which you will have to attend for at least 25 hours a week to achieve optimum results. Also, I notice you assume that whenever a guy is concerned with hair loss, it's necessarily because they are concerned about others' opinions. What are your thoughts on men who would just prefer to keep their hair for their own sake?" End quote. So that's ultimate our discussion. Our discussion is we're comparing the concept of caring about going bald and trying to prevent that versus trying to get in better shape. Now, I am 39, I am less than a year from 40, and it's very important to me that I do not continue to gain a waist size every time I have a birthday. So earlier this year, I did join the gym, and I go a minimum of six times a week, at least usually an hour to hour 15, full workouts. I'm doing a little bit of everything. I'm doing the weight training, I'm doing uh, you could even say some CrossFit and even Pilates in there. I, would, I put all those in there. I got a lot going on that I do. Well balanced, I feel. And I've completely altered my diet accordingly. Whey protein shakes, eggs, uh, you know, high protein, no junk food, no, no bad carbohydrates. I mean, doing the whole thing. So I can see already from the beginning of the argument, it makes sense that yes, as far as what is less trouble, less maintenance, ultimately it would be taking a pill and paying 30 cents a day. Which for me, my gym, I paid up front for a year. It was basically a dollar a day. It was $358 for an entire year. So it's a, a dollar, basically about a dollar a day is what it comes down to. So for me though, already into this video, what I'm gonna tell you is, my mentality is focus on what you can control, not on what you can't. And when I say that, I mean that more naturally. You could say, well, Nick, is it really natural to drink, to consume 60 grams of protein in a whey isolate protein shake? Is that, is that really natural? Well, when we look at the cures for, cure for hair loss and all the options that we could, to me, working out in the gym is much more natural. People have been doing that for a long time. The Olympics have existed for a long time. There were always men with more muscles and who are better toned than others. That's an ancient concept. This, this idea of trying to hide hair loss or stop it or prevent it is more of a, a new concept. It's more of a cosmetic thing. See, and I think that's another thing. Okay, well, Nick, but if you keep working out, you are going to cosmetically look better. You're gonna have a better physique. True. Is that why I'm doing it? Part, yeah. I definitely want to be looking good for whatever my age is. But also we can't deny the fact that also I'm going to actually be healthier if I invest in that 
over my hair. So let's look at more of the conversation that came through because definitely people agree with Tobo. And Tobo, you know, I gotta give Tobo credit. He's the reason I've made many good videos on this channel. He's, he's brought a lot of intelligent conversation to the table here. But I responded and I said, looks like you and I have drifted apart. You were once my golden boy, Tobo. And then he said, just a series of questions I've had in my mind for a while. I'll always appreciate your content and wisdom. I like to think I've taken a lot from it. I'm just taking a different path. So I let him know I'll be making a video. And then comes Aziz, the new golden boy. Well, boy is, is what we, he's ultimately going to be. So Aziz Quadri steps in and says, quote, There is a simple answer to this. First of all, embracing boldness is healthy as it relieves you of a worry that was occupying you for a long time. And on the other hand, embracing a beer belly is just plain unhealthy. It can cause so many problems. Everyone ages. But there is a difference between aging healthily versus aging unhealthily. And every individual has a choice in regards to how they want to age in terms of their physique. Hair loss, on the other hand, is entirely genetic, so it cannot be manipulated to stop naturally. You would have to take unnatural routes such as drugs or hair transplants to stop it. And even then, maintaining a hair transplant is quite a headache, no pun intended. A beer belly is something that isn't genetic for the most part, but rather a reflection of your lifestyle and dietary habits. And as your metabolism slows down due to increasing age, your body obviously has a hard time digesting most of the food and hence most of it would be stored as fat. Hence the chances of you gaining fat increase significantly as you get older. However, you can stop yourself from gaining a beer belly by staying with the natural means of your body. Sometimes you can't do that with hair loss. In conclusion, there is a great deal of difference between stopping hair loss and getting rid of a beer belly. One can be done naturally by eating healthy and working out while the other can not be stopped naturally. There are two types of people who work out, those who work out to stay healthy and those with the sole purpose of getting ripped and showing off their physique whenever they can. And going into unnatural means such as taking steroids to achieve this goal. The latter type are just as insecure as the ones who try desperately to cling on to their hair and essentially fight a losing battle. Man, I approve that message. And yeah, he's right. Obviously, I'm not the guy who's eager to pull up my shirt and show everybody, oh, look at my six pack once I get it. If I do, who cares? But yeah, there's definitely a lot of insecurity in guys doing it for that reason. Now, I did say I'm wanting to, you know, drop my pants size, not drop my pants, <laughs> drop my pants size. That's important and maintain that and have a good physique from whatever my age is, which overall will increase my health. And that will mean I look better but I'm really focused on the health side of it more so than that. It happens to be a nice side effect that I look better, but that's not my motivation. And I think if it was, it would be a true sign of insecurity. And I think that's a very good point that Aziz makes there. Uh, so then I said, Aziz is now my new golden boy, such wisdom, maturity, and grounded logic to which he said, I prefer golden boy, but thank you, Nick means a lot. So I'm guessing I had to look it up like boy, B O A. H. I'm just thinking of like, you know, I grew up in the South, Alabama, so boy, like, you know, I guess that's ultimately what that is. It's a very masculine, uh, you know, phrasing of that. So ultimately, there you go. I mean, here's what we're left with in this 10 minute conversation as we talk about, oh, I can take my glasses off now because they're clear. It's what it comes down to. You get to be a part of this conversation. People like me are going to say, Focus on what you can control naturally, the things that actually matter. Well, I constantly remind everyone, you are judged harshly on society. I have a series called "Guys, Advice to Guys Going to College, 1 through 10, and you can look at all the things that matter. And yes, I do mention being healthy and active and fit. And yes, that does mean you're going to look better. And I even talk about dressing nice, nicer than most guys because women do pay attention to that. As far as women being physically attracted to us, they are looking at our physique and they are looking at how we're dressed, but they're mainly judging us on our confidence level and our kindness to them and our ability to communicate and build them up. But as far as how we look, it has more to do with our physique because that sends a strong signal about how active we are and how much we respect our own time and our own body and that sort of thing. That sends a signal, so is dressing nice that you're paying attention to those details without obsessing over yourself. That's the extent of how much females really care about what we look. And I know that. So I am focusing on things that actually matter, but it's ultimately in the name of health more so than vanity. 
And I feel that hair loss, trying to prevent that, is ultimately in the name of vanity. That's my argument. That's what I would say. I'm going to predict that based on my, the hair loss community, it's not defined by how much hair they've lost, but instead being insecure about hair loss. Therefore, I will predict that most people will not side with me and Aziz. I predict most people will side with Tobo. We will find out right here in the comments.